So, at last, the day had come. It was time for my eye operation, and we were on our way to Wrexham Hospital. Yes, for those of you that have actually had an operation, you'll realise that this is probably the worst part. The worst part is waiting for the operation, and what goes through your head is unbelievable. But that was it. It was time to put my big boy pants on and get on with it. Well, I'm not sure what time it is, but um, I've just literally got back to the boat now. Uh, Sandy's took Chip and Dale uh, for a walk. and As you can see, I've had my eye operations and typical me. They had complications. They couldn't. Uh, I've had my lens replaced, uh, got rid of the cataract and I've had a whole new eye lens put in very uncomfortable I'm in quite a bit of pain at the moment but I'm just gonna sit and relax but I'd like to thank you all for all your lovely messages that uh, I've had both privately and on the vlog and texts uh, but thank you everyone it's done I don't know how well it went um, it took just over twice as long as what it should do but the deed's been done so I'm just gonna sit and rest now so uh, it's just another adventure isn't it okay thanks again everyone see you next time so it's now Wednesday the 20th, it's about midday and as you can see I'm in the chandlery, yeah, I'm back in work. Um, I is still a little bit tender. Um, the surgeon actually explained to me that before the operation, because I'd had an operation previously called a vitrectomy, I'm glad the table was the right way round and the person that did the operation could talk well, um, it, it's called a vitrectomy, not a vasectomy. Um, and that involved taking the gel out of my eye and replacing it with gas, compressed gas, which turned to liquid. <clears throat> Gory, sorry if you're eating, but I had that uh, operation previously. And the surgeon actually explained that this can cause complications sometimes during cataract operations. It had to be me. So I'm lying on the table. Uh, he explained that in normal circumstances it would be about 15, 20 minute operation. 40 to 45 minutes later, I'm getting wheeled out. Very tender, very tender indeed. In fact, one surgeon started the operation and another one finished it. Um, apparently, they couldn't get my old um, lens out. It was stuck in and the first surgeon was having difficulty doing it. So uh, another one took over. A bit, dis bit, bit, bit frightening when you're lying on the table, um, but I knew I was in good hands and they, indeed they've done a great job. As of Wednesday now, two days down the line, if I shut my right eye, I can actually see out of the door. I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face before, it was all a blur. So I can't see, I may need glasses, and it's still got lots of time to, uh, to repair. So they have done a marvellous job. And as he did explain, I've previously had a detached retina as well, so my retina has been ripped. So obviously that's going to affect my, uh, my eyesight somewhat. But it's Wednesday. I'm feeling better, feeling much better. I'm back in work. Hey ho, let's see what the week goes. Oh yes, and one more thing. I did forget to tell you that Ronnie and Reggie are back on their boat. So Chip and Dale, better be careful. Yeah, someone better tell that Mexican Mafia. We're coming here to sort them out. Oh dear, Chipster. It looks like the boys want to sort us out. Oh, Daily Whaley, stop panicking. I've been practicing me mean face. It's only because Ronnie and Reggie have squished up noses that they look so tough. So what are you planning on doing then, Chipster? Well, Daily Whaley, I've been practicing my mean face. I can squish my face up just like them. Oh, go on then, Chipster. Let's have a look. There you go, Daily Whaley. Now all I gotta do is talk like them. And I got... Well, Thursday afternoon, 21st of November, it's about three o'clock. And I'm having a bit of a walk around to have a look at these new pontoons as they're due to start our jetty next week, the end of next week. And it won't be before time. 
as uh, about 11 o'clock last night Sandy was having trouble sleeping so she decided to go and move the fenders the boat was rocking around a bit and the fenders were rubbing on the pontoons so Sandy went out of the bedroom lifted the, uh, the fenders up and then went to step on the boat and a foot slipped on the pontoon she's uh, she spent all morning in A&E she's badly bruised her leg and torn her ligaments or something or other in her shoulder so she's in agony um, so she's lying on the bed now back on Chuggabug and I've just come to bring the, the boys for a walk so uh, let's hope that gets better soon so let's go and have a look at this new pond so here they are they look really good very quiet to walk on very nice loads of grip so Sandy should be nice and safe and the boys don't uh, don't have a problem walking on it. Yes, as opposed to these slippy ones. Awful they were. So yeah, all nice. Looking forward to getting our jetty done. So come on boys, let's go. So today is Monday the 25th and as you can see I've started to wear glasses again because without I can't see my phone, which is very strange considering I've actually had my eye operation but could be a good sign. Um, good news is my left eye, I, this is inverted because I'm filming myself, but my left eye I can actually see out of it. But sadly, my right eye's gone. But uh, I am awaiting an operation for that. Um, sorry to go on about my eyes, but <clears throat> big part of my life. But I'm going back to hospital uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon for a checkup. So uh, I'll tell the surgeon and see where we go from that. Anyway, we've had a lovely weekend here at uh, at the marina. Um, for, unfortunately though, Saturday night we were due to see a, a band. We were all excited to see them on the Saturday night in the boathouse, but sadly their drummer had an accident. Seems it's the time for accidents at the moment, so the band were unable to come. So we improvised, we got out the karaoke machines and we had karaoke. All sorts went wrong, but we had a fantastic night. Take a look. <laughs> Yes, we had a great time and indeed we raised a few glasses as well to Lee Bruner's son and his uh, wife, new wife, as uh, as they got married and Lee is a subscriber and watched our channel from the start. So congratulations you lot, we did raise a, a glass to you. Um, we did have a good night and it was made extra special by one little song from Malcolm. Over, no, never, no more. I went into a nail house I used to frequent And I told the landlady me money was spent She said I have whiskey and wines of the best And the words that I spoke they were only in jest And it's no way over No way never no more
So that's it for this vlog. Um, I would like to thank everyone again for your very kind messages. It uh, it means a lot to Sandy and I, but I'm fine and uh, everything's sort of ticking over quite nicely. And uh, thanks for joining us anyway. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. So please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And um, thanks for joining us on Chuggerbug.